Okay, so someone asked me uh, the other day for an update video on the forage situation on the farm. Uh, I think they were probably quite concerned because obviously we had a really bad summer last year with the drought and uh, it was a, a consideration for every farmer of, of what to do uh, and there was a worry about whether we'd have enough in the barn to last the winter. Uh, I mean in our case we actually bought in quite a lot of round bales which we're, we're going to have a look at later. But I just, uh, the crops were down, obviously the maize was short. Uh, some of it was really low in the field and uh, some of the grass uh, silage I didn't think we had enough but it's surprising actually it has lasted. We'll just have a look, we're down to our last bit of maize now, a little chunk in the corner. Uh, the way we do it is we mix it with some protein mix over there um, and I just cut down half the, the shed, use one half and then use the other half just primarily because I just found the front was going off too quick. Um, we weren't using it fast enough and it was going mouldy all the time so I think though you lose a bit on the bit there, it's better to, than the front going mold, mold, oh excuse me. So we've still got a little bit left. Uh, silage is I mean, well mature now. When you start at the front it's this sort of yellowy colour. By the time you get to the back it's gone brown. But I believe as it gets older it gets actually better for the cows. Um, so we've still got a chunk left. I think that's probably going to last us only about... Hmm, a week or two weeks which actually is perfect you know what if we run out just before we go out it doesn't really matter so we're going to have a look at the uh, size clamp now the grass size clamp so there's the cows having their maize in the ring feeders with a bit of a protein mix in there so they're munching on that we're going to have a look at the silage clamp i think you all know me by now we're not high tech here self-feed silage works for us doesn't work for everyone it only works on a small number of cows really um, so they've got plenty of silage in front of them and uh, they're quite happily grazing on that. Some of them prefer the grass silage and some of them prefer the maize silage. But as you can still see, we've still got quite a lot of uh, grass silage left. Still one bay and uh, some years we've actually gone back a lot further than that. So I, I mean, I'm amazed, really. Um, I, am, I am actually amazed how much we've got left. I honestly thought last uh, autumn I was quite worried we'd run out of grass silage because there didn't seem to be much in the front of the clump. There is a piece at the back that is a few years old and uh, it wants using up really but sometimes, you know, I, I always don't like using the last bit up because I always like to feel like there's a little bit of carry on from the previous, to the previous year. Um, so I don't know what this spring will bring, whether we'll get enough in the clump or not but um, I'm pretty confident almost we've got too much silage now. Anyway, we're going to have a look in the field. I want to look at the grass just to see what that's like. Uh, and then we're going to have a look at the stack of round bales we got. Hello, girl. All right. So here's the grass in the fields. Uh, it's got a reasonable amount of growth on it, actually. Um, looking down, it's a bit uneven. But uh, there's certainly a good bite there. And uh, compared with maybe last year, it's definitely further along the lines. But I don't think the cows will be out till probably beginning of April. Looking at a diary, we did get them out, um, I think it was 2016, we got them out um, in uh, March 27th. Well, that's not going to happen this year. But uh, I reckon two or three weeks we'll be all right. There we go. So I've stopped off our fertiliser spreading just to have a look at the round bell situation. Um, you can just see behind me, we have a lot left. Um, what we've got here is at the front, these are the ones we bought in. Uh, we, we had these bought in from a local guy. You might have seen them being delivered. In fact, there's a little clip of them being delivered. Stick 
So, so those are delivered, I don't know, when we were in the middle of the drag and we've got our bales at the back which are uh, a little bit squishier because I think these, these are more uh, traditional silage um, bales. These ones at the front are a bit more like haylage. Anyway, we're gonna, I'm gonna put a, a few of these up for sale, I think, because we've got way too many now. We're never gonna get through these in a, in a summer. So, yeah, so if anyone's looking for round bale silage, um, I've got a few spare going here. You can drop me an email. Uh, I'm putting an advert in the Western Daily Press. Um, I think it'll be in there on Saturday, hopefully. Uh, all good bales from this year. And you can see there, too many for me. So anyway, so that's our forest situation. Um, to be honest, better to have too much than not enough. And uh, although we bought some in, we might have bought too many. I'd rather be in that position than uh, scrabbling around desperate. Anyway, I'm going back to work now. Back on the old uh, fur spread.